All right, I hope everybody enjoyed the bonus video that came out on Sunday that was discussing Watson, nerf or buff, all that good stuff. But this video isn't going to be examining arguments, but instead offering my own thoughts and opinions. And this time it's going to be about tap strafing in Apex Legends. But before we get into our discussion, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click all the links down in the description below, especially the twitch.tv forward slash crip61 since I stream extremely often and you can stop by and talk to me over there. But anyways, let's talk tap strafing. So if you don't know too much about tap strafing, it was originally discovered in Titanfall 2 by the speedrunning community and Brian Otto, a top speedrunner in the Titanfall 2 community, as a glossary that defines tap strafing as tapping W or forward shortly after jumping slash double jumping while strafing causes you to quickly move at a sharp angle without losing nearly any speed due to strafe lurch. The same idea applies to tapping S or backwards, though it will slow you down only possible on PC. So essentially, if you want to make a really sharp turn and keep extreme amounts of speed, all you have to do is jump and perform a normal air strafe while tapping W quickly. This was a powerful tool in Titanfall 2 that very few could wield to its full potential. But of course, it was crazy. This is a clip of Iniquity just going nuts using the mechanic. Also, really quick before we get into the Apex side of things, I want to clear up the biggest myth about the subject that I've seen. This is not a controller versus mouse and keyboard issue. It's a console versus PC thing. You can tap strafe on controller on PC. If you don't believe me, here's Iniquity, again, in Apex, tap strafing using a controller on PC. All he does is bind forward to one of his D-pad buttons and presses that for his tap strafes. So again, tap strafing is possible on controller. You just have to be a PC player. Okay. So, a lot of Titanfall things carried over to Apex. For example, grapple slingshotting. So, it was no surprise to me when tap strafing carried over as well. There was one major difference between Titanfall 2 and Apex's tap strafe though. The mouse wheel keybind. You can bind forward to mouse wheel in Titanfall, but it doesn't work the same as in Apex and you can't stra tap strafe with mouse wheel in Titanfall 2. However, the mouse wheel bind works extremely well in Apex, as seen by the crazy plays that I've been playing and will be playing throughout the rest of this video. This video is a compilation, I'll link it down in the descri description below. But since you can tap strafe with mouse wheel in Apex, we need to think for a second. How does this affect the mechanic and the skills and the skill ceiling for the game? Well, for one, it was an extremely powerful mechanic and now it's extremely accessible if you just know how to set it up correctly. When it comes to balancing video games, a mechanic this advanced and powerful should be difficult to perform. That's it. That's long and short of it. Tap strafing is powerful enough that it shouldn't be able to be done as easily as it is with mouse wheel. So what should be done to rebalance and fix tap strafing in Apex Legends? The answer comes quite easily. Don't let players buy movement keys to their mouse wheels. Make players that want to tap strafe actually have to tap W to tap strafe. This allows the skill ceiling to stay high and allows crazy plays to still happen, but makes it so that using such a powerful mechanic takes a considerable amount of skill. Of course, a lot of people won't be happy, but that's just the way it is sometimes. You don't want to remove tap strafing entirely, you don't want to bring down the skill ceiling of your game, and you don't want to leave it as it is either. So. I honestly think that taking away movement keys from the mouse wheel is the easiest and best solution to the issue. That's my thoughts on it though. I, But you guys should let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I definitely want to hear your guys' opinion on this. But other than that guys, thank you very much for watching. It does mean a lot to me. If you like the video or me for some reason, make sure you go like the video and subscribe to the channel. Of course, follow me at twitch.tv forward slash crypt6 and click all the other social media that is in the description down below. Thanks again for watching. I will see you guys next week. Goodbye.